Well, the boat is out. We will rain is in. Today, Western Michigan's football team held its first full team practice under new head coach Tim Lester. Joe Alicio joins us with more. Joe. Yeah, guys, Lester and the Broncos hitting the field at Waldo today, energized and certainly relaxed. There was no tension there at all. They also did so under a pretty good rain, believe it or not, then blue skies and, yep, even a rainbow. Lester said after practice he hoped the rainbow was a good omen for what's to come this year. That's right when he took the field right there. Yeah, how about the rain, coach? We've talked at length about his playing career with the Broncos back in the 90s, taking the field as head coach today. Definitely an experience that stuck out for, for him. Anytime I get to walk on this field, you know what I mean? In the spring, spring's different because you're, you're not building up to anything. But, but walking out here with these guys today was, uh, I mean, it's just a good, it's an exciting feeling. You know, when you have a chance to, to coach in a place that you love, that you, you wore the same uniform and bled and on this field as grass before. It's a lot nicer now. Uh, but it's a, it's a special feeling. It's very similar. Um, you know, the practices are pretty fast paced and we move along. And, and Coach Lester's done a great job of working with us and what we know what to do. Um, and he's kind of meshed what he knows best with what we did the last few years and just meshed those, those great things together. Now coming up at six, more on Lester's first day as Western begins preparation for its week one matchup against USC. All right, sounds good, thank you, Joe. There are eight coaches who voted for the Broncos in the season's first Amway Coaches poll released by USA Today Sports. Take a look at the top 10. Alabama, which lost the college football playoff championship to Clemson, is number one, followed by Ohio State, Florida State, USC, and Clemson. Michigan clocks in at number nine. Eight coaches had the Broncos in the top 25, and Michigan State had one coach who thought they should be ranked.